Hey there, sweetheart. You're just in time. Dinner's ready. How was work? Are you sure? You look absolutely exhausted and... What's this? You're all banged up. What happened? Oh my god. You have an elevator for a reason. For God's sake, use it. You are clumsy enough as it is. Trying to walk down and back up four flights of stairs while carrying a bunch of boxes sounds like a recipe for disaster. I know. I know you don't like the elevator. But you can't see while you're walking with all those boxes. Be careful. I don't want anything to happen to you. You didn't hit your head, right? Are you sure? Let me see your eyes. Overprotective would be wrapping you up in bubble wrap, which now that I think about it might not be such a bad idea. I just worry about you. I think you should take a few days off. You've been so exhausted lately, and you've been tripping more and more often at work. Sweetheart, I'm worried you're burning yourself out. If you don't rest, your mind and body will soon enough force you to do so. And I don't want you having to fight that battle. Oh, um, sorry. Just a sec. My boss is calling me. You start eating, and we can continue once I'm done. Not a chance. I'm not letting this discussion go. I'll be back in a minute. I've asked you a million times before. Don't call me after office hours. They're office hours, obviously. I don't think they'll start suspecting something's wrong when I just disappear every time Blaze and the Crusher go head to head. Might scheduling your villain rampages a bit more conveniently? Oh? Are you for real? He's coming here. To town. Holy shit, yeah, I'm in. I'm not letting this child slip by. When do we strike? Fuck. No, no. I'll be there. Oh, I'm counting on Blaze to show. Like always. To save the day. But I have a plan. What's wrong? Don't you trust your loyal, evil genius? <laughs> That's what I thought. I'll be there in five. Hey, sweetheart. I have to run. Crisis at work. Some old boomer accidentally downloaded a virus, and now the entire system has gone crazy. Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe an hour, maybe five. Don't wait up for me. I love you too. A bit chilly tonight, don't you think? Ah, oh, always just as charming, Mr. Crusher. Don't worry, I have Blaze handled. That hero isn't going to get anywhere near our target. You know, 
With a payout this big, I could probably take my fiancé on a trip to Paris. Like they've been dreaming of. Castle of Scythe, the Art Museum, and of course the Eiffel Tower. Did you know there's a restaurant up there? <sighs> and it's like I'm talking to a brick wall. Whatever happened to you anyways? You used to be... I don't know, fun? Hmm? Finally. You go get my trip to Paris and I'll go handle our superhero. You're bound to show up as soon as you start the show. Good luck, my master. <laughs> Hey there, Blaze. <laughs> Not who you expected, eh? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint. The Crusher is preoccupied at the moment. You fought him earlier today anyway, so... It's my turn now. I wouldn't do that if I were you. See, you're actually pretty predictable. You always come, and you always take the same route to the fight. No matter where the Crusher is causing trouble, you always, always, always come through here. I've been developing an algorithm for tracking you down. Exactly who you are and where you live by using that very knowledge. I suppose that won't be needed after today. What a shame. Isn't that obvious? I have buried explosives under the entire square. You take so much as a single step in any direction, and you and all the people in the buildings around us will die. There is only one way out of here. You already know that, of course. Bingo. I could do a lot with the extracted source of your powers. So what do you say? Come with me and... Sure. You'll be experimented on, but... At least you'll be alive. And maybe one day, we'll even let you go. Or you can die here. Choice is yours. Thought you'd say that. I'll deactivate a path to me. If you so much as flinch in the wrong direction, I'll reactivate the bombs and blow you sky high. Come here. I don't have the entire day. I have someone waiting for me. Oh, yes, we live in a giant castle of darkness and we dance a dramatic waltz each and every night in the moonlight. Took too long. Hello there, darling. Always wanted to do that. Hey, uh, Crusher. How's my trip going? Of course I got them. What do you take me for, some sort of incapable loser? Yeah, well, I've got my plans for them. They will be perfect in my lab. I'll contact you once I've found something that might be of interest. Now, back to you. I have to say, I am rather curious who might be hiding under that mask. Do you mind? Does it look like I care? You! 
No. No. No, 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 no. This isn't possible. It can't be you. Because it's me, sweetheart. Why are you here? What are you doing in Blaze costume? This is no time for jokes. You can't be them. No, you can't. Because Blaze is my enemy. And you can't be my enemy. What are you even doing here? I thought you were going to stay home. Jesus, one wrong step, and I would have killed you. Have you got any idea what a complete idiot you've been? Dressing up in their costume? We've really been fighting you all this time. God, I... I've hurt you. All those times when I watched Blaze and the Crusher fight, or when I got my own hands dirty, it was all you? I'm not. Don't call me that. I'm not a bad person. I was going to use the money we got from this to take you to Paris. Like you always wanted. It's complicated, okay? It is. But you know, here, like you, you need to understand. I'm trying to put the pieces of you together. Blaze and the person I'm in love with. Meanwhile, I can already see the hatred in your eyes. You've already decided which version is me, haven't you? <laughs> okay then. If you want to hear it so badly. The Crusher and I grew up together. Of course. He had a different name back then. Different plans as well. He wanted to be a hero. The type everyone looked up to. And I wanted to be a sidekick. He was like a big brother to me. The family I never had. The people we lived with were not good people. On television, they were praised for saving orphan children off the street. But behind closed doors... Let's just say... I would have preferred the streets. The Crusher refused to let it continue. With a device I had made from... An old remote control, a wide collection of glass bottles and... Tape... We amplified his powers, enough to where he tore that hell house to ruin. I know, these past few years, he's changed. He frightens me. But I can't leave. After what he did for me, I swore I'd always be by his side and I don't break my vows. I love you. I never acted around you. That is still me. Don't make me do this. Don't make me choose. I... I don't... Yeah, I hear you. What's up? Really? That's a lot of money. My location? Um, 
I I am at the plaza. Blaze. They. They escaped. Look, I'm sorry. I, I did my best. I. Of course, Crusher. Didn't you hear me? You magically escaped. I think you should get a move on before he gets here and finds out I've lied. Are you serious? Okay. I'll see you at home then. I love you.